Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to start the rebuild on this G29 golf cart engine. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. Hit that thumbs up for me. Let me get some things set up and we'll jump right in. All right guys, here we are. I got the cylinder hone. I got the crank polished up, cleaned up, polished up. If you've kind of been following along in this project, um, got the, the valve seats um, lapped and cleaned up, and we are ready to start putting this back together. Uh, I'll try to get you the best angle possible. Uh, my bench is kind of tight. Uh, it's kind of a, a big project, lots of things laid out. So um, we'll see if we can get you the best shot and get you to follow along. So we'll, uh, we'll just jump right into this thing and get to uh, get started and just start going so first thing we're gonna do is uh, put the crank in I'm gonna lube up this bearing real quick and this seal down here it's important to lube everything up especially these seals if those seals go on dry they'll burn up in about they can burn up pretty quick Without anything on them. Let's see. Okay. Got that in. So here's the oh, damage everything as I'm putting it together. Here's the new piston and crank. I already put the piston pin in. Had to make sure I had all the didn't need to get new uh, clips. So need to put the uh, piston rings on. And crack those open real quick. See if you can see them. Give me a minute while I open these up. All right, I finally got them open. So these rings are actually painted to show you which one goes where. It's got the oil rings. And then we've got blue and yellow. Let's see. It says the oil or the painted side goes towards the top of the ring, but let me take a look at this for a minute. All right, I got it figured out. It says the paint marks face the top of the piston, but it also sh this one is also marked with an R that says it faces the top. So we're gonna go with that. Usually they're beveled or something, you know, the top one has got a bevel or, or something, but these ones do not have that. Just, they're marked with paint. I've not seen that before, honestly, but so I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil rings on. So you wanna put this ring in first because these rings actually sit kind of on the outside of this in these little notches, oops. Can't even see that. Sit inside of these little notches, if you can see. So put this one on first. Then you get your bottom one. Uh, pushing this all in, out of the camera, you can't see it. Then get your top one on. OK, 
Okay. Next will be the yellow. I actually don't like doing this, honestly. I'm always afraid I'm gonna break them. And I don't like replacing rings on my own dime. So I've got these little ring pliers that I use. Go ahead and make fun of me all you want, but they haven't... I'll wait until I put these on before I say it. There we go. These pliers have not cost me a set of rings yet. I can do them by hand. It takes finesse. Uh, you know, and I can't say I've broken a ton. I think I've only broken one set in my career so far, but man, it gives me anxiety doing it and I don't like paying for stuff uh, for stupid mistakes. So I just use these. Okay, so we've got those all set up. Make sure the ring grooves are all offset. Okay. I'm gonna lube this up real quick. Just give it a nice fresh coat. Important to lube everything in during assembly. All your moving parts. Now this particular engine, the arrow on the top of the piston faces the um, Jeez. The uh, lifter opening, the valve. Can't even think right now. Too distracted. I'll tell you in a minute. So we're gonna put this into the ring compressor. Make sure that's compressed. I'm gonna put some more lube in here just to be sure. See if I can get you a better view of this. So it's sitting in there. I just take the, the bottom, the handle of my hammer and just make sure the connecting rod's not hitting anything. There you go. These are just the mounting bolts. So there we go. Got the piston and the crank installed. And 
Now, where'd that go? Just need to finish connecting the connecting rod. Put some lube on there. Put some lube on there. I'm actually gonna bring this down and lube the other side of it. Does this go on? It doesn't go like that. I'm trying to find the arrow. I can't remember. I can't see this one. There we go. It does go like that. So the arrows, this has little arrows. It's hard to see them right here. But these will have some kind of arrows or mark. You've got to line those up with the other end. So make sure to line those marks up. I'm going to torque it down. So the torque specifications on the connecting rod cap is 177 inch pounds. Tighten them down incrementally. Okay, those are torqued. Now comes the fun part. Now we've got to set the timing. So, big hole here lines up with the hole on the crank here. Put some lube here on the bottom. I like how that looks. That is the balancer shaft. 
Now we will install the camshaft. And this one also is the big hole. So there is a little hole here or an indentation. A lot of times that's the timing as it is on these ones. But on this particular one is the big hole here. And this gets lined up with the small indentation on the top gear. Lube up that bottom part. Okay. I like how that is all coming together. I was afraid of that. I'm not quite sure why that is the case. I was thinking that oil arm, the oil splasher came this way because the arrows are lined up, but it's hitting the wall. Get a better look of it while it's down here. Those two arrows are lined up. You know what? Gosh dang it. I told you about the arrow on the piston and it's going the wrong way. Not sure quite how that happened. Let me get this fixed and I will be right back. This is real life, folks. All right, we're back. So once you get it installed properly, you'll install the balancer shaft, again, with the big hole, with the indent on the bottom gear. And then the camshaft with the actual hole with the indent on the top gear. Nope, missed a step again. You guys are throwing me off. Don't forget to install your lifters. Your lifters go right into here. You do not want to forget those. to lubricate those. Those will hit your cam lobes. Glad I caught that. Once you've got that installed, now would be a good time just to check everything. Make sure it's all running smoothly. Nothing's hitting anything. Okay, I think we're good there. Now we're going to install the other half of the crankcase, sump cover, whatever you want to call it. First, we will put the gasket on.
some lube on this seal. Whoops. You don't want to jam anything, force anything. That was just getting the bearing over the crank. It's kind of why it jammed there for a second. But everything seemed to go okay. Switch this up, uh, turn this. Once you get that on, just make sure everything is not, nothing's jammed up. Make sure that balancer shaft, the camshaft, everything met, you know, their, their seat's okay. Everything seems to be okay. Should be good there. Just gotta find the bolts. and 31 foot pounds the torque on those People don't torque them, they just go down by feel, but which is fine. I do that sometimes, but when I'm charging the customer as much money as I am, I want to be able to tell him I did exactly everything by the book. That way if anything does come back for some reason, or if anything fails. say that it was all done to manufacture specifications exactly just something I do maybe I'm OCD but and these ones are 14 I believe yep So we are going to go one, nope, one, two, 
two. This is the bolt pattern that Yamaha recommends. Three. Four. Have to come do those more in a different size bolt. Six. Seven. These are thirty one. Good oak. Alrighty. Got that taken care of. Now we are on the fun part. Well, let's set this aside and start getting the head set up. Get rid of this for a minute. I think we're done with that actually. Okay, so need to put the intake seal on. You guys see that all right? Whoops. Okay. Valves in. I like to put a cloth under there, jam it up while I put these uh, valve springs on. Kind of keeps the uh, valve from falling back. Some people put sockets, kind of put whatever. Valve spring compressor if you got one. These springs aren't too bad, so just do it by hand. I'll say that and I won't be able to get them on, probably, but. It's the fun part. If you're new to the channel and you just checking this out for fun, think about subscribing if you would. Hit that like button. Leave any comments down below. Questions, comments. I'd appreciate very appreciate it very much. I appreciate all the support that I get. Try to respond to every comment that I get.
There we go. Got one down. Get the exhaust. Another. Here we go. Okay, now I'll bring this back over. Get these installed. Actually, no, I'll do that after the head goes on. Look how nice this head cleaned up. For those of you that have kind of been following along, the head and the valves, I'm gonna change that spark plug. That's just kind of a placeholder for now, but I'll take it out so I can clean up that edge. So there's the cylinder and the new piston compared to the old one. I'd say this is turning out pretty good. Let's get the head gasket. There we go with that. This is coming right along.
Cylinder head bolts are 32 foot pounds. Double check that. 32 foot pounds, that is correct. One, two, three, four. That one's got a ways to go. Oops, sorry I keep hitting you. Okay, here we go. Now let's get these buggers in there. This was for the intake. Double check that that's in. Get that in there. Must be on the exhaust stroke. Don't like the look of that. There we go. There we go. Just had to push a little harder. Okay, we'll do a quick valve adjustment.
So the valve spec for these apparently is a four thousandths. Or just they say to set it at four thousandths. Okay, good there. Let's get the valve cover gasket on there. This is the one part that didn't get much loving, but I'll shine her up after we get her installed. Now I can't find my... Dead gum ratchet. Not gonna torque these ones. These aren't a super critical component. Might have to go back in there and readjust them anyways, so. Just put them down snug. And, folks, I think that might be it for the day. Let's see what we've got here. Guess we can put the car back on. 
The outside of the plate's dirty, but gaskets are clean. Well, it was clean until I broke it. Awesome. Well, that's a wrap. I'll have to get a new gasket for that. So we'll call that a day for the assembly. Do another video, maybe putting the rest of it all together and dropping it into the cart, if that's something of interest. But for the actual engine rebuild, that's it for today, folks. Uh, thank you for joining me. You know, uh, I'm a mechanic. I make mistakes. I get into a rush. I get other things going on in my brain. Um, things happen. So just remember, uh, I don't know if, you know, keep a service manual on you, keep YouTube videos on you, keep uh, whatever you've got to remember how the engine goes back together. It's very important. Uh, which way the piston goes, which way the rings go, um, you know, which order they go in, um, especially how, you know, that oil splash, um, that oil splasher goes, so it doesn't, as soon as you fired up, that thing would have broken right off, um, caused a ton of other damage, had to, would have had to rebuild the whole thing. Um, make sure to, to time everything right, get the, all those dots and timing marks lined up so on and so forth. So as you can see, it can, it can get mixed up fairly easy. Um, just take your time, be patient, make sure to follow whatever you're following um, and get her done. It's a fun job. I love doing this kind of stuff. Um, just don't like showing you my mistakes, but nobody's perfect. So I certainly don't claim to be. So uh, maybe some of you are, but uh, now you can see that I'm not and I never claim to be. So it's a fun job. I love doing it. So hopefully you got something out of this, uh, if not anything more than entertainment. If you did, think about hitting that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. And as always, you guys make a choice to have a great day. Thank you all for watching.